What is the difference between an electric car and Donald Trump? Well, you don't have to drive an electric car all the way to the New York City courthouse to have it charged. Hey, 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 I did have a Biden joke too, but I used it before, so it just doesn't have any life in it left. But much like Donald Trump, electric cars have made us experience things we've never thought were possible only 10 years ago. So let me tell you about 10 crazy things that were innovated specifically for electric cars. And we'll get started with number 10, the tank turn. Look at that. It does look as manly as an actual tank turn, but also as silly as if your car was chasing its own tail. And it does look awesome, but it can only be done with an electric vehicle that has four independent motors because this is achieved by having wheels on each side spin in opposite directions. Originally, it was demoed by the new car maker Rivian, which is partially owned by Ford and Amazon because it does have four independent motors. However, Rivian has yet to roll this feature out. Now, it does look like a show-off move, but it can be useful on a narrow off-road trail to turn around or simply to get unstuck. More recently, it was also demoed by Mercedes-Benz, which does seem to be serious about putting what they call a G-turn into production for its upcoming all-electric EQG. The ever-popular Hyundai Ioniq 5 has also been shown off doing a tank turn as part of its R&D demo, but this one just makes it look like it's a little drunk and is trying to get up, but can't. Now, Ford, as well as Toyota, both have patented the move as well, but let's see who gets this to the masses first. Let's talk about another feature from Rivian, whose all-electric Amazon delivery vans you may have already seen in your neighborhood. At number nine, it is a portable camp kitchen stored in what they're calling a gear tunnel, which is essentially a hole that goes through the middle of the truck. Now, you can put pretty much anything in there. The fishing gear, the camping equipment, uh, even bottled tears from investing into Rivian stock, but also, you know, the portable camp kitchen. This cool option comes with a 30-piece kitchen set, including a coffee pot, a coffee grinder, and titanium serving plates. There's also a four gallon water tank and a pump right next to the sink. This feature has also been put on hold by Rivian, but I'm sure many other third party versions will pop up sooner or later. At number eight, we've got the bi-directional charging feature. And no, it is not the electric cars experimental stage in college. See, most people think that electric cars are the ones that always need electricity, but this feature allows your electric car to give electricity to other things, including other electric cars and even your house during a blackout. And yes, that was me offering Tesla owners to be charged with the Ford F-150 Lightning. Hey, I did not charge for the electricity or the shame. At number seven, we have an AI personal assistant, which is not that unusual until you meet Nomi. She's actually a physical doll-like fixture on your dashboard. Nomi can actually hear where the voice is coming from and turn her head and look at the person talking to her. She will also watch you type on the screen, dance with you, and even help you take an in-car selfie. She can do all of the obvious commands, like start the navigation, open and close windows and the sunroof, and even get started your in-seat massage. Now, you're probably saying, Alex, that's all good, but how can we keep up with the good old American tradition of dressing up anything that moves into ridiculous outfits? Oh, don't you worry, someone has already taken care of that. And look, they even got the pro-choice Nomi and the pro-life Nomi. See, you can make a cute dashboard doll into a divisive political statement. Nomi is exclusively featured in the electric cars of the new Shanghai-based company called NIO. Despite being founded only nine years ago, NIO already has eight models on the road. All electric, that's twice as many as Tesla. Number six, 
on the list is a little embarrassing, I have to admit. So let me gather some courage, but meanwhile, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Electron. Look, one of the biggest challenges with owning an EV is finding convenient and reliable ways of charging it. That's why Electron is pioneering great charging solutions like this portable Tesla charger. You will have a choice of either 32 or 12 amp charging max, depending on your available outlet. Simply swap out the charging plugs accordingly and get up to 20 miles of range per hour. With dual-level charging capability and a 21-foot cable, this portable charger is perfect for powering your Tesla no matter where you are. Get one today using the discount code in the description of this video. All right, now one of the coolest things that I got to appreciate about electric cars was how quiet they were despite being very powerful. Well, apparently some people didn't really share that enthusiasm with me. Many people, and by people I mean men, still wanted their cars to be loud. Well, some electric car makers have figured out how to make that ridiculous demand into a new feature that digitally manufactures the engine noise through the speakers. And the Ford Mustang Mach-E was one of the first ones to do it. Now Porsche, and I am not kidding you actually charges $500 for an electric sports sound package to essentially play the engine noise when accelerating. I can only assume that this was designed to make sure that the electric Porsches do not take away from the full middle life crisis experience their customers have come to expect from the brand. Now, this next feature only shows that some people treat their pets better than their own kids. Not that I have any problem with that. At number five, we're talking about the dog mode. Both Tesla and Rivian have implemented it to keep the pets cool while the owners are away. Each owner can monitor the temperature remotely and get notified if the battery is running out and no longer able to keep the proper temperature. But that's only solving part of the problem because pet lovers and PETA members like myself don't know that the dog mode is on, so the main screen in the car notifies anybody who peeks in, checking on a pet, that everything is literally cool. Both companies stress that the software is not designed for humans and that children shouldn't be left in the car. <laughs> Who's been a good boy? Uh, oh, crap. For those who are not satisfied with their ability to ignore their families at home, Tesla is now letting some of its owners do that on the road. With number four on our list, the game Stream Integration. That's right, you can now play thousands of computer games in the car, including the cloud synchronization. Now, obviously the car has to be in park since, you know, it's not like Teslas can drive themselves. I mean, one day they will, and I'm sure it will be called some something awesome, something like, well, I don't know, uh, full self-driving. But, you know, until then, that, that would be silly, right? At number three, check out the ability of many electric cars to never having to use the brake pedal unless you need to stop suddenly. It's called one pedal driving. Not only you pretty much never have to change your brakes, you also don't have to worry about wearing out your ankle. This miracle is achieved by having the car brake with the resistance of the motor, which also regenerates some of the electricity back into the battery, thus increasing the car's range. At number two, we can't forget the feature of many electric cars, which demanded its own new word in the English language, the frunk. The front trunk, the space that essentially freed up by not having an engine. Not only it allows for some extra storage, which many believe is more secure, but also for better safety, due to better front-end collision crumble zone design. And of course, another chance for people to use their pets and kids for amusement, spinning off some very popular trends, including the hashtag Frunk Puppy. And even Jimmy Fallon could not resist but to make a music video specifically for the Ford F-150 Lightning Frunk with the biggest one in the business. 
Ford has also equipped their all-electric Mustang Mach-E with a waterproof trunk with a built-in drain, essentially making it into a cooler. And at the number one spot, my favorite feature and currently my favorite EV, which actually covers both Mercedes-Benz EQS models, the sedan and the SUV, the hyper screen. That's right, the entire dashboard is the 56-inch hyperscreen that extends all the way into the passenger seat, giving him or her an ability to ignore the others and control their own space. It is currently the largest in-car display in the market and can be controlled by touch and voice. If you want to know more about some of these features, I've already made videos about them, including the AI on Dash Assistant Nomi and, of course, the Frunk. Check them out. Other than that, see you guys next time and remember to stay charged.